Good afternoon YouTube community, it's your boy Ghost84. Just wanted to do a couple unboxing with you guys. So I ended up getting some stuff from DJ Demo. Um, I ended up getting some stuff off of eBay. And then got some more stuff off of eBay. Just a little bit of potpourri today. I think it's typically all gonna be Marvel and Magic the Gathering. We'll go ahead and start with one of the things that I know I got. So I ended up getting this from China. Typically, I've been doing box breaks for the set Marvel Platinum, like character case breaks. I've been kind of getting unlucky, so I just went ahead and just basically bought something that I was basically paying anyways, or paying price for around the same anyways. But uh, we'll go ahead and check this out. Sweet packed, looks awesome. Freaking awesome, sweet autograph by JP Target. But it has the homie Silver Surfer in there. I'm trying to get some of that dust off. There's Silver Surfer, looks awesome. So I'm super happy that that showed up in nice condition. Next, we'll go ahead and break into more Marvel Platinum. These are gonna be from Character Case Breaks. If I'm not mistaken, I think I just went with Onslaught on these three. Typically, you'll see, or rather watch the results. So it looks like I got kind of boned right there. So it looks like Two base cards. I think I paid like 12 bucks for it. They would basically open up an inner case of Marvel Platinum, which is eight boxes. And whatever character you got, whatever card you pulled out of there, you received. Dang, bummer. Another base batch. Just like two cards. Last one. I didn't watch any of the breaks. Typically I was watching the 16 box breaks, but whenever it started getting down to the eight inner, it got kind of boring. All right, and then out of this one, got Onslaught, but I got a blue rainbow. And again, I paid probably about like, the lowest I was paying was $6.50. Some more base. And the most I was paying was twelve dollars fifty cents plus sh shipping. All right, next thing we'll break into is DJ Demo stuff. And this is Marvel. On his website, he had a potpourri kind of buy where he ended up breaking like six different types of Marvel boxes, putting them in different packs, and then you know you get a chance to I get some cool stuff out of the different variety of packs. All right, so again, I bought two of these Marvel packs. There's like six packs in each little bag. And then these are again some of the hits. I actually got a pack of Marble Metal. Nimrod. Oh man, that one's sweet. I forgot that I got that one. That's awesome. Sabretooth. Man, that looks cool. I personally haven't opened up any Marvel Metal, at least anything in the past 20 years. Got Richter, and this was like our hit out of the pack. Ended up getting some Marvel Platinum in the packs. Got a nice Marvel Girl, Yellow Rainbow, a little 
Apollo, Arno Stark, Medusa Yellow Spotlight, that's awesome. In about a week or so, I'm actually going to Heroes Con. Wow, that's cool. This one's numbered at 399. I was gonna get some cards signed, and this is gonna be one of the cards I'll probably get signed. Let's see. All right, so in the packs they had Moon Knight packs. Because it's like a blue foil of some sort. Oh, this is the numbered one at a 199. Awesome. Uh, y Swartz. Freaking awesome looking. Doctor Strange. Sweet gold inlay on the card. An awesome hollow pattern. Looks like another Moon Knight. Oh, wow. And then the Scarlet Witch. Dang. That's sharp. Wow. And then... That's kind of cool. So, just some of the base. Some of the penny-sleeved ones. Like there were some Spider-Man No Way at Home packs in there. Wakanda Forever, Black Panther. That's awesome. Eternal packs are in there. Hawkeye, because that's probably a nice little insert. Gold inlay. Moon Knight. I've watched like one or two episodes of this. I do need to go back in and start over and rewatch it. I do enjoy that actor, Oscar Isaac. All right. Last little half here. So we got Spider-Man, sweet Thanos. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, Marvel anime was in there. We got a nice little smorgasbord of all different sets. Lady Deathstrike, Jack of Hearts. And then some of the free giveaways. He hooked me up with a Cad Bane and a Topps Chrome. Sweet holographic there. And then he actually hooked me up with a Blastoise. This is actually the same card that I won in a giveaway from DJ Demo. I won it in a PSA 10.0. And that kind of got me hooked back on my addiction or rather love for collecting so kudos to that let's see the next thing we're going to open up it's going to be some magic gathering cards so open up this first one like i mentioned before i'm going to try and head out to heroes con in a couple weeks it's out in charlotte north carolina I'm gonna go meet up with some buds and hopefully, hopefully I can try and get something like this signed by one of the artists that's going to be out there signing stuff. So we got Dan DeSantos, it's a Newmont, but this is in the Japanese format. Pretty sweet looking. It's an oversized card. I think there it is, up against something normal. And that's kind of what the theme is on these next cards. Is going to be they're all Dan DeSantos cards from Magic the Gathering. I got some in my collection, but they're pretty rough. And I wanted to see if I can pick up something a little nicer. 
nice packaging on this. See, like the nice little packaging. I think I only paid $1.69 for this. Alright, so I looked to see the shipping thing. Ducks. Dusk Dale Worm. So again, Dan DeSantos, but this is like a little holographic one. I got some non-hollow ones. In my own personal collection. Uh, let's check out this guy next. Heck yeah, man. Rogue's War Monk. This is one card I actually play in my decks. And I would say this is probably my favorite art of Dan DeSantos from the Magic Gathering set so far. I know that they caught, or rather they got a Set coming up in a couple series. It's gonna be Magic the Gathering crossed with Marvel. And some of the artists from that typically do Marvel, they're actually gonna be in the set, which is gonna be super, super exciting to see. I'm not only a fan of the artwork in Magic the Gathering, but I also play and uh, it's just, it's really awesome. Let's see. Kind of like a hybrid of everything. All right, got something else. Boom. Another war monk. Because uh, one that this one was supposed to be hollow. Yeah. Still cool. <clears throat> Next one. I think I got four different types of cards from Dana Santos. Yeah, this one's awesome. Definitely have this in one of my decks. Yeah. Wall of Fire. Again, Dan DeSantos. It's pretty wild to know that, or not really to know, but uh, to think that I knew of Dan DeSantos way back in like 2009, 2010. Like his art is so captivating. Gosh, it looks awesome in a foil too. So a sticker for that guy as well. Right, we just got two more. Okay, so thank you on there. Another wall of fire. Dan DeSantos. This is the OG one from the tenth edition. As opposed to this guy which came out in 2010. Which was like basically like the set next set to come out. And the last one. Another Warmonk. 
think this time it's gonna be four of them though. Or I guess three. But definitely sweet. If you guys haven't seen his work in Magic the Gathering, I definitely suggest checking it out. I think all you gotta do is just type in Dan DeSantos MTG and his work will show up. He's done at least 20 plus pieces and the pieces I have here are just some of the low key stuff. Maybe this Newmont is probably huge to people. But he has other really sweet pieces like the Mythic Stone Forge. They have like extended art pieces of that. But definitely give him a look and then definitely give DJ Demo a look. He's on Twitch typically every day, but Sunday. Um, Great guy, sweet prices, breaks it on stream. He'll penny sleeve your cool hits, top load your other hits, card saver your, some of your cards if you wanted to get them graded through him. But all in all, great collection got going on here. Appreciate everybody stopping in. You guys all have a great day. Thanks. Bye.